Hi, everybody. Welcome to your first day of math. Oh my gosh, first day of math in kindergarten. Um, and you're not going to believe what the lesson is. It is so not what you think math is, but math is so many things. Um, as mathematicians, that's what we are in kindergarten when we learn math, we learn to observe the world. Um, and there are different, and that just means to look at the world. We learn to look at the world and see what is the same, what is different, um, how many things are out there. And so today we are going to look at shoes. Can you believe that? We're going to look at shoes. You don't have to worry about your shoes right now because I'm going to show you some shoes. Um, also, this is my house. <laughs> this is my living room. I have a little frog right there that's doing some uh, meditation. And then one of my paintings, because I'm actually an artist, is on the wall right over there. So, <clears throat> Welcome to my house, and I'm going to be seeing you and your houses a lot as well. So the very first thing that I would like to do is um, share with you a learning target. Now, a learning target in math, in anything, tells us where to go, what we're doing, and how we are getting there. And so today I would like to share with you the math learning target. Here it is. So I wrote it down. I'm going to read it to you. It says, I can name the attributes of shoes. Now this big word, attribute, attribute, we are going to find out what that means. Right now, can you just say, say out loud, attributes attributes okay so this is a huge word a big word that you are going to learn more about okay this lesson is very short all right <laughs> so i know you're sitting there in brain alert position breathing getting ready to open up your mind and to learn about math okay i love math it's one of my favorite things to teach I mean, I like teaching a lot of things. So what I'm going to do is share with you something called a slide show. Okay. So I never did this in my other class in my, when I did kindergarten <clears throat> um, online last year. So I'm going to try something new this year. We'll see how it goes. Okay. So um, now these are some shoes here. <laughs> <laughs> and the question that this is asking you are how many shoes do you see? Now this is, I could send this to you and you could like play around with it, but for today we're just going to listen. So how many shoes do you see? So go ahead and count them. And different ways of counting are you could touch the air, you could, if you're allowed to, if your parents allow, you can touch the screen and count. You can also count on your fingers, okay? So how many shoes do you see here? That's right, two shoes. So I like to count when I see the things, I like to point to them or really in kindergarten to touch them. So I go one, two, okay? All right. So. Now, same shoes, but the question is a little bit different. The question is a little bit different. So, um, and actually, you know what, before I go to that question, let's go back to this, how many, how many? So in kindergarten, we learn to count up to 100. Some of you might already know how to count to 100. Some of you are learning. Some of you are almost there. Some of you are not really there at all. And you know what? All of those things are how it is in kindergarten. Everybody's different and we love everybody for exactly where they are because we're all just very, very different people, okay? So I just wanted to go back and talk about that really quickly with counting. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna look at these shoes and I want you to think about a few questions. So we're gonna start with the first question and the first question is, what is the same? What is the same? And you can put the video on pause and think about what is the same? 
what is the same? Some things that I am noticing that are the same is they're both like running shoes and the soles, they have like kind of fat soles of the feet of the, of the shoe, which is the bottom of the shoe. Um, and they both have tongues which are the, that opener part of the shoe where the laces or the Velcro is. So we've got the tongues. Um, hmm. But you know what I'm really thinking about? I'm really thinking about what's different. And so that's actually the next question is like, what is different? And so you can put this video on pause and think about what is different. So I'm going to say some things that I notice are different. I notice the laces, that one shoe has laces and the other one has Velcro. One is blue and the other is green. I also notice they have different designs on them. So like darker green or lighter green, darker blue, or actually different colors of blue. So, and all of those little things that we just mentioned, soles of the shoe, the tongue, the, um, the, the laces and the Velcros, those are all something called an attribute. Remember that word? Attribute. Okay. There are attributes to everything in the world. Everything. It just means something that we notice about it. So like, for example, this is my little cup. I'm actually drinking some coffee. Mm. And there are aspen leaves and trees on this cup. So this, that's attributes of the cup. This cup does not have a handle, right? This cup doesn't have a handle. Now this cup, I'm going to show you another cup. This cup has a handle. This one does not. So we are noticing attributes, some attributes like parts of the cup. Okay. It's, um, very interesting. And you don't have to know a lot about that now. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so um, let's go ahead and move on. Now, again, it's asking us how many shoes do you see? How many shoes do you see? So you can use different ways of counting. How many shoes do you see? Put the video on pause if you want to. And the answer is one, two, three, four, five. Five shoes. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I'll show you counting is one of my favorite things to do. And I'm going to show you in kindergarten so many different ways to count, which I can't wait. <clears throat> okay. Now we get to think about these questions. What is the same and what is different? So you can put the video on pause and say to anyone, your pet, your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad, or if you have someone helping you with, with distance learning, um, how, uh, what is the same and what is different about all of these shoes? Okay, and how many, now here's the next part, here's a challenge question. How many things can you notice are the same? And how many things do you notice that are different? Okay, and you might want to, you could even um, count on your fingers, you could even write the things down. And also, if you don't like looking at the screen, you can go to your shoes and you can do this, you can do this with your own shoes. You can notice what is the same, what is different. Okay, so these students <laughs> saw here, and I think I can actually play it for you. Ready? Two have laces and three have straps. So two have laces and three have straps. I'm going to play this one for you. I see two have pink straps or laces, two have white, and one has gray. So she saw two have pink straps or laces and two have white and one has gray. And this friend said, the front part of these two shoes are white. The other shoes have different colors in the front, pink, gray, and black. 
So the front part of these two shoes are white. The other shoes have different colors in the front. They are pink, gray, and black. So your assignment today, now this is just a way to do this on the computer, which I would like you to get off of the computer. I'm not, we're not gonna do it like this. I want you to draw a picture of your own shoe. Create your own shoe with all the different kinds of things about them. And tomorrow, for our morning meeting, I want you to show me your picture of your shoe, okay? All right, so <clears throat> um, that is it for today. I am sending you so much love. So excited to teach you the first math lesson. Mwah!